Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank here from Altcoin Buzz coming to you from sunny Bali and I am absolutely flabbergasted by how much information there is about layer 2 scaling solutions. Now, layer 2 scaling solutions based on everything that I've read, especially this post by Vitalik Buterin himself written just 19 hours ago about a roll-up centric Ethereum roadmap all convinces me that Layer 2 scaling solutions and scaling solutions in general are going to play a very big role over the coming year at the very least. So in this video, I'm going to try and give you a brief overview of why I think that Layer 2 scaling solutions look like an attractive investment opportunities right now. I'm going to give you an idea of the range of solutions, just very briefly go over what types of solutions there are. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a better idea of why layer two scaling solutions are so important and why in fact they're even more important than ETH 2.0. If you enjoy this content and want to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button as it really helps to support the channel. Before I get started, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor and that trading and investing presents financial risks. All right guys, so to get started, Vitalik Buterin wrote this blog on Ethereum dash magicians.org, a roll-up centric Ethereum roadmap. Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin says base layer scalability is still years away, all right? So I posted this video breaking ETH 2.0 launch and the fact of the matter is that you will get many headlines like this over the coming year or two because there are a whole range of steps towards this launch. So I wanna give credit to C. Santiago here who wrote the probably the most informative comment on any of our videos. And he says this ETH news isn't really ETH news. It's information that has been out for a long time. Now, while this is true, it is going to make the headlines just as the halvening made the headlines. So every time there is another announcement of progress being made towards any of the future phases, you're gonna hear ETH 2.0 launch. But the fact of the matter is that we are a long way out from the final solution. So before I get back to Vitalik's blog about this, where he talks about why these scaling solutions are so critical for Ethereum and why in fact they're even more important than ETH 2.0, let's go briefly over what these phases are as described by C. Santiago. So as he says, Phase zero is what people are talking about when they speak of the ETH2 news. This is the first part of ETH2. This is in essence the spine of ETH2 without the rest of its bones. So this is talking about the beacon chain. And yeah, it, indeed, it is very much just the first stage. It doesn't help scalability and that will in fact come much later. Now, C. Santiago says what a lot of people are saying that Ethereum 2.0, Ethereum is heavily reliant on people coming up with second layer solutions. So as he mentions here, there are several phases. Phase one is of course expected sometime in 2021. Phase 1.5, when the mainnet becomes a shard, maybe in 2021, we just don't know. Phase two, fully formed shards, 2021, based on what I've read, it seems like 2022 is gonna be the earliest that this will come out. So feel free to read his comments to see what all these phases are about. Today's video is going to be more of a focus on layer two solution. So in this blog, Vitalik Buterin talks about all the different types of roll-ups and layer two scaling solutions in the first paragraph. But really, this is what it all boils down to in the second paragraph. Base layer scalability, that's basically scaling on Ethereum itself, on the blockchain itself, for applications is only coming as the last major phase of ETH2, which is still years away. Okay, so we're not talking even 2021, we're talking 2022 before it, ETH 2.0 really scales, according to Vitalik, again, according to some other people who I've seen have similar predictions. In a further twist of irony, ETH 2.0's usability as a date availability layer for rollups comes in phase one, long before ETH2 becomes usable for traditional layer one applications. So these facts taken together lead to a particular conclusion. The Ethereum ecosystem is likely to be all in on rollups, plus some plasma and channels, on a scaling strategy for the near and midterm future. Now he goes on to talk about quite a lot of technical details. I suggest you read this if you really want to get informed about it. 
But again, I've highlighted some of the more important things here, the things which are sort of more understandable for the general community. Economic sustainability benefits of roll-up centrism. So as he says, these layer two solutions require millions of dollars, maybe even tens of millions of dollars of funding to become financially scalable. So as he says, these layer two solutions and Ethereum scaling solutions require millions or even tens of millions of dollars of funding to become financially sustainable. However, layer two projects launching their own token is sufficient, provided, of course, that the token is backed by genuine economic value, i.e. prediction of future fees captured by the layer two. So this part is really fascinating, this final part of the blog. As we mentioned, there are three major phases after phase zero, none of which have happened yet. Phase one, phase 1.5 and phase two. Now, what Vitalik is suggesting is that we might have a phase 1.5 and done. So what does he mean by that? So in order to explain this uh, phase 1.5 and done approach to ETH2, he says that, well, first of all, Ethereum currently has 15 transactions per second. If everyone moves to rollups, we will soon have 3,000 transactions per second. Once phase one comes along and rollups move to ETH2 sharded chains for their data storage, we go up to a theoretical maximum of 100,000 transactions per second. And then he says, eventually phase two will come along, bringing ETH2 sharded chains with native computations, which gives us only 1,000 to 5,000 transactions per second. And therefore, it seems very plausible to me that when phase two finally comes, essentially no one will care about it. Everyone will have already adapted to a roll-up centric world, whether we like it or not. And by that point, it will be easier to continue down that path than to try to bring everyone back to the base chain for no clear benefit and a 20 to 100 X reduction in scalability. So this would suggest that the phase 1.5 would be the most important phase and that by the time this launches, people are going to be using rollups and layer two solutions in general so much that phase two, the fully formed charts might not even be that relevant or that important. Now, of course, there are people expressing some concern and criticism. For example, Subtacular says here that he's worried about keeping it simple enough for users and beginner developers on the system, saying that it's pretty complicated already for an average person to use Ethereum in the first place, let alone use it consistently without falling for scams. And, imply, and incorporating these different layers will put a lot of pressure on multiple layers of the ecosystem, especially user adoption and usability. So this is definitely something to be concerned about. And it just goes to show that, you know, although there are solutions being developed right now, there are still problems which people are discussing, which people are trying to figure out. You know, we are a long way from really scaling Ethereum in the way that we want. And nonetheless, there's all this demand for Ethereum. So. It is a bit concerning, but it's also exciting to know that so many people are working on this. Vitalik Buterin replied by saying, I absolutely agree with this. I do think it's important to note that at least in the short term, as far as I can tell, we have no choice. So again, a bit concerning that we might have to sacrifice adoption and usability. But, uh, you know, there a lot of people are working on this. I have faith that they will figure it out and that it's just a matter of time. But that doesn't deny the fact that it's important to be aware of what the challenges are and, you know, what will work and what won't work. Now, the title of this video, of course, is that these could be the best investments of 2021. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, let's talk about smart contract platforms. Ethereum, of course, is the biggest smart contract platform. And if you think that smart contract platforms have no future, then of course, you can just stop watching this video right now. Smart contract platforms have a massive future. Ethereum, of course, has a whole range of competitors just in the top 20. Binance Coin, Polkadot, Cardano, EOS, Tron, all of these create the ability for developers to create dApps on them. There's numerous more of them, Tezos, Stellar, VeChain. Okay, so we've agreed that smart contract platforms are not going anywhere and that Ethereum is the dominator of all of these. Now, when it comes to layer two scaling solutions, some have tokens and some don't. Now, I've only picked out about five or six just to give you guys an idea of how many there are and where they rank on CoinGecko. So, for example, we have the OMG network absolutely exploded in price. It reached $10 recently. Of course, it's come down a lot since, but this ranks in 39th place. Loopring, 57th place. Solana network, 91st place. So already we have three in the top 100. We might even have one or two more that I didn't notice. 
but at least three in the top 100. And then, of course, we have Matic Network. We've covered their news a lot, ranks 125th place. X Dice Stake. If you guys were following our channel a few months ago, you would have made a killing on this. We were talking about it when it was under $3 in 172nd place. Seller Network, 270th place. Dragon Chain, 335th place. So there's a lot more. Raiden, of course, also in 339th place. Basically, what I'm saying is that there's a whole range of solutions. And I personally would be interested in investing in a basket of them. We are actually going to start focusing more on layer 2 scaling solutions, especially after this blog by Vitalik Buterin himself saying that they are going to lead the way. I think that some or maybe even several of these tokens, maybe even many of them, will increase significantly in value over the coming months and year or two because it's not like demand for ethereum is going to go away it's just the fact that these costs are so high right now so ethereum transaction fees were absolutely skyrocketing actually in recent days they have been decreasing so you can see that this chart has just been going up and up currently they rest at about just over two dollars this is the one year chart but if you go to all time you can see that basically for all of ethereum's history the average transaction fee was about 0.2 cents or less and now we're at two dollars so that's 10x and that's and that's after having come down significantly from the top so it's an absolutely critical thing to solve and uh, yeah that's why i think that you know considering the demand for DeFi, i think that all of these layer 2 scaling solutions are going to provide a very interesting investment opportunity now when it comes to risks of course you have to consider the fact that polkadot Cardano, a whole range of other smart contract platforms are going to compete with Ethereum. And if they can come out with solutions which work uh, earlier, then, you know, that could certainly provide some competition. That being said, Ethereum currently has the network effect. It certainly has a significantly larger market cap than any of these other smart contract platforms, at least 10x the market cap. And in terms of network effects, probably more than 10x. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think Ethereum, well, come on guys, Ethereum isn't going to go anywhere for the coming year or two, and therefore all of these scaling solutions are potential real gems moving forward. Now guys, when it comes to layer 2 scaling solutions, there are a whole range of solutions. They can be categorized into these categories. This is a post on medium.com by Matter Labs. I really appreciate them putting the work in here. They say how it's hard to find objective posts discussing the attributes of these different solutions so big props to them for to alex gluchowski for writing this this was just this year on june 12th so he talks about state channels side chains plasma optimistic roll-ups validium and zk roll-ups so what vitalik buterin is referring to is roll-ups in other words optimistic roll-ups and zk roll-ups now very briefly what is the difference between these two well zk roll-ups according to this blog post here this article by ethgasstation.info what is the difference between optimistic roll-up and zk roll-up well zk roll-ups submit zk snark proofs to the mainnet roll-up contract guys i don't know what a zk snark proof is i don't know what a roll-up contract is exactly i'm personally still learning about this but the point here is that this process happens almost instantly and scales immensely optimistic roll-ups sacrifice some scalability in order to accommodate smart contracts on layer two there needs to be a slight delay for this to happen so this post by matter labs is probably a good one to read through i won't be able to read through it for this video otherwise it will last hours but evaluating ethereum layer 2 scaling solutions a comparison framework so it says how all these different projects when deciding on which l2 solution to use they have to consider security performance economics usability and other considerations so what i would watch out for is news so for example matic and X Dice Stake have both been signing on many partners recently, many projects interested in using either X Dice sidechains or Matic's Layer 2 solution. So I would watch out for these announcements because basically, you know, you can understand all the technical aspects, but it, the, it all boils down to how many people are actually doing their due diligence and deciding to partner up with these certain Layer 2 solutions or to use these Layer 2 solutions. 
So I've been talking with the Altcoin Buzz team and hopefully we'll be posting more content relating to Layer 2 solutions, what they are, what the differences are, and which ones we think are most promising moving forward. That being said, I can tell you right now, I personally own some OMG. I earned some loop ring when I was writing for Publish OX. I have a tiny amount of that. Matic is one I wanted to get into. I haven't gotten into yet. I have a fair amount of XDAI stake. This has had a pretty big dip recently. Probably not a horrible idea to get in at this price. Of course, that's not financial advice, just my personal opinion. But of course, let's be honest, if Bitcoin drops, all of these are going to drop as well. So just something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to layer two scaling solutions, there is a lot of hype around the great Reddit scaling bake off. So why have we not really heard about the winner of this solution? Well, according to this update, from just a few days ago, we are still working on finalizing our scaling solution. We've been very impressed with the breadth and depth of proposals submitted in this bake-off. Many projects have done great work and it's good to see so many ideas in the Ethereum ecosystem. Now, I certainly sympathize with this next part. While we are continuing our due diligence, it's taking a bit longer than we expected to understand all the options in detail. As soon as we have more to share, we will make an update here. So of course, there's a lot of technicalities to understand but the idea is to try and get an understanding of the basics. So in today's video, we're not really going over anything in much detail, but I just want to give you guys a broad overview of why these layer two scaling solutions are so important. And maybe in future, we'll go in over some more detail about which ones we think can win out over the others. Now, for those of you who don't know, this great Reddit scaling bake-off, which was announced several months ago, is about trying to get Reddit to scale. So they want to show the community how the scaling solution can be used to bring community points to the mainnet. So our goal is to find a solution that will support hundreds of thousands of community points users on mainnet today and can eventually scale to all of Reddit. So guys, there are a lot of submissions here. This is a long post. These were all the submissions. This will be a running thread of submissions. All of these projects, some of which have tokens, some of which don't, submitted their proposals. XDAI stake now, interestingly, is probably one of the ones which has the largest percentage probability of winning. And this is according to a great bit of research, which was done by Chico Crypto. I really have to give props to him in this video, number one altcoin to explode why Reddit plus Ethereum. And he goes here over all of these submissions, again, saying how some of them are tokenless, some of them already have tokens, and some have plans for having tokens in the future. And he basically boils it down to the fact that XDAI and Matic are the two most likely solutions to win. And he final, finalizes it by saying that XDAI is probably the main one to win. So feel free to check out this video, number one altcoin to explode by Chico Crypto. But yeah, in conclusion, I am certainly very interested in these layer two solutions. I mean, I already realized that they were important. We all knew that ETH 2.0 was a long way away. This isn't exactly news, but to have Vitalik himself saying that it's years away, not one year, not a year and a half, but you know, years, that's a minimum two years. So we're talking 2022 really makes one wonder, well, you know, how can ETH 2.0 really be the big news? The big news is, is, you know, which ETH scaling solution is going to be the winner or which several one of probably several of them will gain significantly in value over the coming months and year or two. So I'm very excited to learn more about this and to update you guys about my learnings about the layer two solutions. And if you guys think that one is particularly good over another, then feel free to write that down in the comments below. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like it and to let us know what you appreciated or what you would have liked to have seen more of. And let us know which layer two scaling solutions you guys have invested in. All right, guys, that's been it for me for today. And I will see you in the next one.